2019 was my inaugural year as the president and CEO of NMSDC. We tried to implement as much of my vision, goals, and expectations for the NMSDC network as possible. Leadership Week was the first event that we held that really allowed us to talk about the next transformation for NMSDC and the impact that it will have on the network. We started with our industry group chairpersons coming together to talk about ways that we need to work more collaboratively and cohesively to allow us to have those supplier diversity innovations that's going to make a big difference for our minority entrepreneurs. We also had our CPO Summit as well as our Corporate Plus Summit, which were standing room only. We had a large turnout for that event and great discussion and dialogue about the transformation of supplier diversity and what that is going to mean for corporate supply chains. We ended the week with our annual gala, which was the time that we wanted to celebrate those who've made significant achievements and accomplishments in minority business development. We ended the night with the President's Economic Impact Award, and I was so honored that the Reverend Jesse Jackson was there to accept that award in person for all the work that he has done to advance economic inclusion for people of color. In 2019, one of the things I really wanted us to focus on is how do we leverage the power of NMSDC as one network. We wanted to make sure that we are working more cohesively and collaboratively with our affiliate presidents and the councils that are on the ground doing the work, delivering the services on behalf of our corporate members and our MBEs every day. So we really focused on how do we work together to execute the strategic plan, how we make sure that they're part of all of our programs, and how do we make sure we have strong two-way communication so that we're working in partnership to support all of our constituent groups. That has been the, the, the premise of my foundation for how we can build NMSDC to be the best resource for supplier diversity professionals in our country. As we look at how we can enhance even our Corporate Plus program, we are very grateful that we were able to bring in 10 new Corporate Plus members this year. We have spent a lot of time and resources to reboot that program, to make sure it's meeting the needs of our, of our MBEs that have that elite designation so that they can be able to participate more fully with Corporate America and have access to those opportunities. We know for Corporate Plus members, their needs are very different. Mostly what they're looking for is stronger advocacy, stronger visibility, and a way to be able to have access to those opportunities and looking at ways that we can get them access to capital as well. Part of the work of the NMSDC network is done on the ground. I wanted to make sure that I understood what those issues were and how I could help mobilize the network to be able to meet the needs of our corporations, our MBEs, and other stakeholders. We launched Adrian Summer Tours uh, earlier this year, and that was a great way for me to connect with people on a one-on-one -on -one intimate setting so that, again, I could hear from folks directly. We know that we have a lot of work that needs to be done, and I tell everybody we can't do everything, but we can start by doing the things that are going to be the most impactful. And I was so great, grateful for those of you who came out, gave me your ideas, sent me feedback so that we can work together to strengthen our network. The Summer Tours will continue into 2020 with a little bit different focus as we continue talking about our strategic plan and what that's going to mean for you as our stakeholders. The National Conference and the Business Opportunity Exchange is the culmination of the year for NMSDC. We had almost 6,000 people in attendance and we exceeded all goals for our attendance, particularly even from last year when we were in Austin, Texas. We were able to have our, our, our stakeholders there, had a great welcome reception that we allowed everybody to come together kind of in a relaxed environment, and that just really set the tone for the rest of the week. As you know, we changed the schedule because we wanted to make sure that we were being uh, cognizant of our stakeholders, making sure that we can have a shortened but impactful week. We kicked off the week with our annual gala being held on that Monday night, the awards gala, and we had standing room only in that as well. So we're going to make sure that we are planning better next year so that we can make sure we accommodate all of those who are interested in attending the awards gala. We were very pleased that we were able to offer for the first time our legislative policies and forums issue. Roland Martin was a great host for that and we had some really impactful speakers to help talk about how do we shape legislation that's going to be impactful for our entrepreneurs of color. So we're looking at uh, looking ahead at how we can do things even more bolder, making sure that we can have a conference that meets the needs of all of our stakeholders and making sure that we are ready for Phoenix in 2020. So we are so excited to enter into 2020. We are looking to continue executing our strategic plan. We've been able to really prioritize where our resources need to be spent, whether that's around our technology, around best practices, and around our programming. So we are excited to be able to partner with you, work with you, roll up our sleeves, and help address this work together. We are so thankful to you as our corporate members, our minority businesses. You've been very candid, you've been very transparent, providing information and feedback, and all of this will be used to help us all move forward together. So I want to thank you for the time that you've invested, and we look forward to working with you in 2020, and enjoy your holiday season.